Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a question from one of my subscribers and here is a question. Consider the image below, explain what it is and describe the information that it conveys. So uh, this uh, picture shows us um, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, how different genotypes and genotypes here shown in three different colors uh, relate to each other in uh, relation to the frequencies of the two alleles that can be found in population. And now I will describe in more details. So when we have uh, two alleles, say um, dominant allele A in population and recessive allele A, these two alleles can produce in diploid organism three genotypes. The first one would be capital A capital A genotype, the second one would be capital A and small a genotype, and the third one would be small a, small a genotype. So, so far it is clear, it is simple, and in order to solve um, many population genetics problems, we can use Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, which uh, is uh, frequency of all three genotypes in population would equal to p squared plus 2 pq plus q squared and all this would equal to 1 or 1 here is also equal to 100 percent so 1 equal to 100 percent so uh, p squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype, and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. So, in other words, instead of these letters in this formula, uh, if we would use these letters, we can say that A squared, because A multiplied by A would be A squared, dominant uh, A squared, plus 2 A uh, capital A small plus um, A small squared. So this is basically the same. We just used different uh, letters to represent these three genotypes. And of course if we combine all three genotypes that can be made by two alleles, this would equal to 100% of all possible genotypes in population. And also we can say that uh, all the alleles P plus all the alleles Q in population also would equal to 1 or to 100%. So now let's uh, take a look at this picture. For example, let's take a look what's going on at position 0, 0. So, in this position, allele P or allele dominant A would equal to zero. So, uh, that means that uh, this is di three different also colors, and as you see, uh, homozygous recessive genotype, which is Q squared, in this case, would equal to one hundred percent because this one equals to one hundred percent so this population would consist of only um, say people who is going to be homozygous recessive one hundred percent we wouldn't be able to find people who would be heterozygous we wouldn't be able to find people who would be homozygous dominant because p equals to zero and q equals to one and let's take, for example, a look uh, at this position when uh, two alleles, P and Q, or dominant allele A and recessive allele A, would equal to 50% each. That means that the um, frequency of the genotype represented here with red color, which is homozygous dominant, would equal to about 25 percent. 
and frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype also as you see would equal to about 25% and frequency of the heterozygous genotype would equal to 50%. So 50 plus 25 plus 25 would equal to 100%. But as you see uh, the scale of this graph is very rough so how we can say exact numbers for example if dominant allele P which is uh, dominant allele A and Q would equal to uh, 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 or 80% and 20% what numbers are here even if we would draw a straight line it still would be hard to say what numbers are but we can solve this problem mathematically so here is our um, formula and we can solve this problem and we can get exact numbers using this formula so uh, we know that frequency of the P equal to 0 0.8 so let's put these numbers so this is going to be 0 0.8 squared plus 2 frequency of p which is uh, 0 0.8 0 0.8 multiplied by frequency of the q which is at this point as you see is equal to 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus uh, frequency of the q squared which is uh, 0 0.2 squared and what numbers we are going to get here so 0 0.8 squared would equal to 0 0.64 and if we multiply these numbers we are going to get 0 0.16 inside multiplied by 2 this is going to be plus 0 0.32 and plus 0 0.2 uh, squared would equal to 0 0.04 so now if we combine all these numbers this number plus this number is going to be uh, 0 0.2 96 plus this number we are going to get 1 or 100 percent so now we know that uh, genotype which is um, represented here uh, with uh, blue line would equal to 4 percent so 4 percent here and genotype here that represented with green line which is heterozygous genotype would equal to 0.32% and genotype uh, which represented here uh, with red color which is homozygous dominant would equal to this frequency and frequency of the allele P would equal to 0 0.8 and frequency of the allele Q would equal to 0 0.2 so as you see according to this Hardy-Weinberg formula it is very easy to find a relationship between all three genotypes uh, this table can be helpful but uh, in many cases we just have to do uh, calculations if we don't have um, a table uh, which would be much more precise than uh, what we see here once again here we see frequency of the dominant allele a so dominant allele a and here is a line frequency of the recessive allele a and as you see when frequency of the dominant allele a would grow at the same time at the same point frequency of the uh, recessive allele a would decrease and this also would lead to uh, as you see 
different relationships between uh, three genotypes. So when a homozygous recessive genotype would decrease, frequency of the heterozygous genotype would increase and frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype also would increase. But as you see, this is not going to be straight lines. So as you see, all lines represent curves. One more time, uh, all the calculations that we do, we do on the scale between 0 and 1, where 1 represents 100%. So in order to obtain numbers in percentage form, we have to multiply all these numbers by 100. So we would get 64% here, 32% here, and 4% here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.